All right, this is the I Am Rapport Stereo Podcast coming live and direct from the gloom tomb. My name is Michael Rappaport, a.k.a. the Gringo Mandingo. I'm in here with the 2015 Podcast Co-Host of the Year, Mr. Gerald Moody, a.k.a. Yep. G. Monetti, a.k.a. Jew Monetti. Um, how does it feel to be part of the tribe, uh, Mr. Monetti? Oh, uh, It's good, man. Um, I like it. I feel good. Okay. I'm the best of I'm the best of both worlds. Great. Um, well, that's fantastic. Uh, Gerald uh, just found out through a DNA test that 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 he had a smidgen of Jew in him. Uh huh. And and uh, you know, so welcome welcome to the uh, welcome to the club. Uh, we're happy to have you uh, amongst the chosen people. Um, yes. So we're gonna just jump into this. There's been there's been a lot a lot of stuff going on in in the world, and 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 I know uh, you got a lot to talk about, Moody. I have a lot to talk about. I, I'll set it off. You know, the, the a couple of days ago, waking up to the video Nothing. of <laughs> this man Terrence Crutcher being shot in, in, in you know with his hands up in the air, you know, not not even facing the policemen. You know, the first thing that came to my mind when I was watching that video is like is there's there's got to be something missing here like something something has to be missing here because how can this happen again why would this happen again like something like tell me something some something's missing something got edited and it it, 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 it did nothing got edited this just continues to happen like it doesn't make any fucking sense and 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 he was shot by a, a, a woman a female cop, um, you know, I, you know, like y- everybody has seen the footage of this, uh, I'm sure. So it's not like I'm, you know, we're breaking this news. You know, the 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 helicopter people, you know, re- refer to him. Oh, he looks like a bad guy. I don't care if the guy's walking away from the police. You know, the detail. The, apparently, he was walking away from them. Who cares? Who gives a shit? If he's right. that's even better. He's walking away. So, so, so there's least of a problem to, 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 there's no confrontation. He's not coming at the police. Um, right. and, and this, this guy's dead. This guy's fucking dead. And, um, it, it's inexplainable. It's, it's, it's just inexplainable how this can yeah. continue to happen. It doesn't make any fucking sense how this can continue to happen over and over and over. And I've said this once, I've said this before, and and, and I don't wish this to happen. You just don't see the footage of an Italian uh, policeman beating the shit or shooting an unarmed Italian man. You don't see the footage of a a Jewish uh, female cop shooting a Jewish female woman walking away. Or a Jewish man walking away. You just don't see it. Why these people are shooting to kill. Why why they're so quick to pull the guns. Why they're so... I don't don't understand it. Um, And and now there's, there's, you know, there's protests turned to mini riots. Uh, You know, there was another incident with this this guy, Keith Lamont Scott in Charlotte. And uh, this is like two in one week. Two, Two unarmed people... Black men shot down in the middle of the street. It doesn't, it's, it, I don't understand. Like, and like, you know, there's protests, there's riots, there's civil unrest. I don't think any of those things are going to stop this shit. Like, I really right. don't think th- this is, the, like, I don't know. I have no answer. Um, of course, it's, people are going to start burning shit. Of course, there's going to be protests. Of course, there's going to be all sorts. People are are, are everybody not people every if you don't if you have a pulse and you have a heart beating in you if you're not disgusted by that footage of Terrence Crutcher I don't care what your thoughts what your feelings are if that's not disgusting to you and not uh, unacceptable to you there's something wrong with you there's no rational reason for that to happen I don't care right. what your belief system is, what what you've seen, what you that there's just no excuse for this to continue to happen. You know, what the only difference is now 
is the this has always happened. I've always said that this has always happened in in America with uh with black people being killed by the cops. The only uh, reason you're seeing it with such frequency is because of social media and phones. But this right. is no aberration. Right. Usually, usually it's buried in the papers. It's it's a it's a small thing. This is the same thing. And unfortunately, it's going to continue. You have uh, it's going to and it's going to be more riots because it's not going to stop. And this cop will more than likely get away. Based huh. on history, that cop is going free. Right. So you have to you have to understand these things, man. You know, you got to remember these are th- th- this is black people in America. This sub- this happens a lot to us. This is not just oh shit. And this is is uh, extremely uh difficult to watch, man. Cuz it's like a guy getting executed. Right. And you know, they talk about body cams and, and stuff like that. It's like I told you in the last episode. It's if if the cop in his heart has contempt for the people he's sworn to protect, so how is he going to deal with them? How is he going to deal with them? He's going to deal with them with a uh, with a uh, contempt and uh, uh, what's that hair trigger? So what we seen was an execution. Yeah. I don't know why. Period. You can't say anything else. Period. The guy. It's disgusting. Now, it's fucking now, now, disgusting. Now I want to say one one thing too. As far as compliance, you must comply with police officers because if they tell you to stop and you're walking away and you try to go into your car and get something and they can't see your hands, they're not going to let you go in your car and get that. Right. Whatever it is, what would you do? You see, this is also not with this case, but I'm saying in general, you have to comply because the cop doesn't know who you are, what you have in that car or what you can't just grab shit. That's how cops get killed, too. Right, right. It's just out of control, man. It, it, it's so fucking out of control, and 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 and, and it's so um, frequent. Um, yeah. And and like I said, you know, like I saw that footage, and like I'm thinking to myself, like, do these policemen think that this guy's gonna fly away, like he's Batman? Like what? Right. Like what do they think's gonna happen? Like they think he's gonna just spin and just like you know like disappear? Like I don't understand what. What the like the like they're so freaked out by this guy and like and it just the the whole climate of the situation is bad and bad and bad. Um and 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 the dude the dude in the helicopter from whatever feet up in the sky looks like a bad guy. Right. How how can you tell that? No, he how? meant to say he how? looks like a black guy. That's what he meant. He he, he, he yeah. He, I mean he, 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 that's he, what he, he is. Just said it what it is. Right. But remember, Tulsa, Oklahoma is the same place that burned down uh, the black community, Black Wall Street in Tulsa, Oklahoma. This is the same community that just massacred black people. So obviously, I'm sure there's some resentment for black people there. And and, and the same community, the bombing in New York. Thank God no one died from the bombing in New York. The guy, yeah, thank God. The, the guy yeah. that they caught is in a shootout. This, this, this is the thing you got to think about. He's in a fucking shootout with the police, and you know the police didn't want to kill him because they want him alive. They want the guy right. alive. Yeah. And he's shooting guns at the police. Allegedly, who the fuck knows what the story is like anymore? But and and, and you know, I want to make sure we are a hundred fifty percent. Pro cops, it, it's of it's course. it's it's the it's the bad seeds, you know. Both me and Moody have have friends in New York, black men who have been on the force for twenty something years now. Yes, um, clo- close friends. Um, yes, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> but this the, 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 this guy, this 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 bomber, who's shooting a gun at the cops, he walks out of it with bullet wounds because they don't want to kill him because they need information from this fucking guy. 
Right, right. That's why they didn't kill him. Of that, course not. If he's in a shoot, normally like a bank robber, he's in a shootout with a cop, dead. You, you, you're, you're dead. Normally, like somebody who's like hostage, you're shooting cops, you're dead. But they, they probably like, yo, don't kill this motherfucker. Don't kill this <laughs> yeah. motherfucker. But the, the guy on the side of the road walking away, he gets killed. Right, right. Hey, like I said, man, this is America, man. When you, you, you got look. Think about. Think about the black Americans' history in America. You know what I'm saying? We the same people that they, they dropped bombs on us in Philadelphia. They put they gave us syphilis, man. This, this, just think about the black Americans' history in the United States. This has always happened. You can go back from the time we got here, man. This is nothing new. You're just seeing more of it because they can't bury it. Right. You know, they, 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 they would have lynched this guy if, if, if you know what I'm saying, like... This is how it happens. So I don't know what can be done. It's been going on for 400 years. Now, now everybody needs to. I'm glad people are seeing this. So because usually they think that we're just like we're just talking like, oh, no, you know, it's, it's not as bad as you guys make it out to be. I'm glad it's on uh, uh, HD and maybe you could sympathize with seeing that's somebody's father, that's somebody's son. You know what I'm saying? Like husband or whatever. And to be executed like that. And basically it's happening with impunity. Now, I want to say this too. If this is going on under a black president's tenure, Mm. can you imagine what's going to happen under the next guy who I know is going to win? You're dead set that Donald Trump's going to win. I I still don't agree with you. All this stuff, that rioting and all that stuff going on, you think that helps Hillary Clinton? Fuck no. <laughs> and, 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 and Donald Trump, he, he had his man, Don King, who we just said on the last podcast, he has the same street that he killed a guy on in Cleveland. It's getting named after him. Now Don, Donald Trump had, had Don King make a fucking fool of himself again. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's sitting there endorsing. Don, Don King's endorsement, Don King's endorsement for you as a president... Is about is 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 about as valid as 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 a, as a bag of my dog shit. It, it, it means nothing. And and Don yeah. King sitting up there, he's saying the n word. He's saying all kind of shit. I mean, some of what he says makes sense. Uh, you know, he ain't, he's not a dummy, but he's older uh-huh. and 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 he is a, he is a hustler and a con man and and a fucking and a thief and 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 he he views people as meat. His own people. He viewed yeah. he 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 broke. So many fighters. He ruined so many fighters and treated so many fighters. He doesn't give a shit about anybody. And, he, and yeah, he's he's a Cleveland hustler, man. A pimp. He preyed on he preyed on their uh, the fighters' ignorance. Yeah, and now Don King and Donald Trump has Don King sitting up there. Like the fact that you would even let him speak and you're standing there like. Like shaking your head, like, yep, listen to what Don King has to say about me. And Don King sitting trying to explain this is how this is how pathetic it is. That Don King, during this speech a few days ago that he gave, tried to explain why all white women should vote for Donald Trump. <laughs> Do you know how fucking Damn. dumb that is? Like the, 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 the like the fact that anybody would that, that would, would would generalize and categorize it and the, the fact that it would be Don King doing right. it is just you're in bizarro fucking Donald Trump land like even Donald Trump had to be like wow look at my fucking life like this is way I, way out there I, I I bet you Donald Trump in his mind can see the finish line he I'm telling you man he can oh, yeah. see it I I, I agree he, but I, I I agree that he thinks it's gonna lose but I, I I still don't agree with you that he's gonna win we'll see and you should hope that what you're saying is not right I know you think I, you're I, I, co-host your Domus and like you're like Mr. Fucking Right you should hope that you're I not hope right it ha- listen I hope it doesn't happen but just for the mere fact that he blew out the rest should tell you a guy with no policy just None. ridiculous shit, racist shit, right? Anti this, anti that is leading Hillary Clinton. So how could that be? You know what I'm saying? So if it's that so unusual, yo, 
I'm telling you, man, I don't want this shit to happen, but you have to look at reality. You have to look at, yo, this guy got a lot of motherfuckers behind him, man. <laughs> and all this craziness going on in the world, all these deaths, all these bombings right there in New York City, the shit, the second shit paper of New York City, the New York Post, puts on the cover of, of, of the New York Post the other day, Jennifer Aniston smiling, uh, and it goes, uh, uh, you know, whatever the dates are, like it was like an obituary to Brangelina, which is going to bring right. us to the emergence of one of the great stick men of all time, Brad Pitt. Now, yep. I, I, I'm, making like, I'm making a joke of that because in actuality, Brad Pitt has never been a great coxman. Whoa, what do you mean? Because Brad Pitt has been in relationships, he's been married, and he's just not that dude. He's not. He, he he's always been sort of, you know, he's a serial relationship dude. Now, okay, if he wanted to, if he wanted to get it in, uh, he could be untouchable. He could be like greased lightning. If he if he set his mind to it, there's no stopping. There's no telling uh, the 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 accomplishments as a coxman. That Brad Pitt could do, but I will tell you that I, I he's just not that guy. He's been married now. He has six kids, and he he's been in this relationship with this woman, and and now, after all that he's done, all the the the, the sort of you know the, the the philanthropy and all this stuff, his ex wife is trying to well his soon to be ex wife Angelina because I'm fucking with Brad Pitt. I'm on Team Brad. 150%. This is a good I'm dude. I'm glad he got out of there. I'm glad he got out of it too. But but now, after creating this family, they, they had three of their own kids, I think, or two of their own kids. I think three of their own kids that they adopted three other kids and, 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 and all this stuff. The first thing that his, his soon-to-be ex-wife wants to do is what? Get full custody of the kids. Why would any parent, Unless the kids were being abused and he was not abusing Word. his kids, why would Word. any parent, parent suggest I get full custody of our kids because things have went awry in our marriage? Right. That is some. That and why would you. even ju- why would any judge even even consider that being true? And now they're trying to make it seem like oh he was a he was he was this and he was that and like oh like they 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 got into an argument and he acted like an ass and got into a verbal argument with his son. Who doesn't get into a verbal argument with their sons? Who doesn't Word. get into arguments with their kids? Who doesn't get into shit with their kids? Who doesn't fly off the handle with their kids? And and all of a sudden he's bad. He's a, fuck all that shit. Like the media they should be ashamed of themselves to try to paint you don't know like imagine like i'm in a relationship right imagine something happens and then the media is trying to tell them like when you're in the privacy of your own home you don't know the dynamics of what you're you're arguing about you could a whole argument could turn into something about one kid not cleaning up after themselves and then you know cookies in the bed and it could just you know you know the seed could go into this and go into that and go into that and now the media is trying to speculate and 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 uh sniff around and write these things about oh this happened or that happened or they got into an argument on a private plane so what so, so what? what he was drunk so what he was drunk or he wasn't Word. drunk you don't know what he was doing or what he wasn't doing and an argument could just be like sit your ass down i'm your father shut the fuck up that's good Word. that's what you should that's tell good. your son you should yep. tell your son shit sit down and shut the fuck up hell yeah try to shit on brad talk about he's a. Uh, um, he he's drinking, and I I, I want him uh, away from the kids and all that. What you t- yo? Brad got tired of going to Africa with your ass anyway, right? Because all you want to do is just get baby after baby. Maybe Brad wanted a Scottish motherfucker. Yeah, maybe Brad just got tired of the fact that, that you, you 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 too skinny and that you, you're you're all emaciated and you just up his ass. Maybe 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 just the relationship like any other relationship. It happens all yeah. the time. Maybe it just it wore its welcome. Well, why, 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 but you want to try to um, get full custody of the right. kids that you guys, uh, that he's loved and that you've loved. You want to try to get full custody for what? Why don't you just make it clean and simple? We're getting divorced. Mommy and daddy are no longer together. We're splitting everything. He's taking what he is. I'm taking what I is and all that other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. He went out to Africa with you to get those kids. Why he can't have them? Right. He did go out Shit. to Africa. I actually think that it was Malaysia, but but I know what you're saying. 
try to try to shit up uh shit all up, of a sudden uh, try to shit on all on, of a on, sudden on, on BP. All of a sudden, he's a bad this, he's a bad this, and I want all the kids. Did you ever love this cat? Right. So you want to take his kids away from him because you know what's best. Yo, hold your head, Brad. Yeah. Get back out there. Get some new broads and, and do you. But ju- just, just for the record, because a lot of people have talked about the great stick man is free and back in business. I, I will say that, that BP, if he wanted to, he could shut things down as a great. Maybe. Say it again. He's doing that. M- maybe. He's leaning towards that now. He see all the bullshit. Nah, he's just not that dude. He's a simple dude, man. Dude's from Missouri. He likes to chill, drink his wine, smoke his weed, and, and, and take care of his family. That dude's not out in the streets like the way he could be. But if he wanted to be out in the streets, mm, man, he, <laughs> he would be out in the streets. All right, this is the Iron Rapport Stereo Podcast. We're doing it big. We're coming right back with, I, have, I got something. I'm going to blow your mind with this one, Monetti. All right. The Iron Rapport Stereo Podcast is sponsored by Casper Mattress, an obsessively engineered mattress at a shockingly fair price. It combines springy latex and a supportive memory foam to create an award-winning sleep surface with just the right amount of sink and just the right amount of bounce. Time Magazine named it one of the best inventions of 2015. Casper is now making dog beds. That's real. Casper is now (sighs) making dog beds. My dog Wheezy sleeps like an angel on his dog bed every single night. You can try a Casper mattress risk-free in your home for 100 nights. If you don't love it, they will pick it up and refund you everything. Do you understand that? You could sleep on the mattress, live on the mattress, nap on the mattress, jump on the mattress, have a pillow fight on the mattress for 100 nights. If you don't like it, they will refund you everything for free. Go to casper.com, www. Dot C-A-S-P-E-R dot com forward slash Rappaport. Use the code Rappaport. You can get $50 towards any mattress now. Welcome to Play It, a new podcast network featuring radio and TV personalities talking business, sports, tech, entertainment, and more. Play it at play.it. All right, the Iron Rap Port Stereo Podcast. Uh, Miles Davis uh, and Jordan Winter, the producers of the Iron Rap Port Stereo Podcast, please, please cue the sick fuck of the week music. This award is earned, not given. It's called the sick fuck of the week. This guy's really sick. Lock him up. How could you do it? Don't let him out. Damn. You fuck the door? You what? You fuck the dog? Why would you fuck the dog? Why would you fuck your girlfriend's dog? What sick fuck? The sick fuck of the week. It's earned. Earned. Not given. You did what? No. 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 If you never listened to the Iron Rap Port Stereo podcast, well, you're in for a treat. This is the sick fuck of the week segment. Um, this is an award that is earned, not given. Uh, special, special, special people get awarded the sick fuck of the week. And, and I have a guy, you know, we did top five sick fucks of the week of all time on the live show. I have a guy that I feel like he's going, like if this was Casey Kasem, like a countdown show, this guy's rocketing to the front of the, of the charts. A Tallahassee mm. man. It's always Florida. Florida and Georgia seem to have the, the most sick fucks. <clears throat> a Tallahassee, Florida man. <sighs> this is this is way out there. Uh, has <laughs> been accused and arrested for pouring a cup of semen on a woman while she and a friend did homework at a local restaurant. I'll repeat that. Oh. A Tallahassee man has been accused of pouring a cup of semen on two women in a local restaurant. Damn. At a Panera Bread company. You, you know Panera Bread? This, this is like a, like yeah. a... Yo, my man came up to them 
And he said, here you go. And, and, and he poured on the, ne- on the woman's neck, her shoulders on her arm, and acted like he was spilling a drink. And then homeboy, you know, fled to his car. Uh, the employees chased him down. Uh, uh, they, they got a video of him stroking his loaf into a foam cup before, before he had left the scene. Dang. Uh, he's done this before. Um, and now they, they, they've, uh, they've arrested this guy. Thank God. Have you ever heard of any foul shit like that before, Monetti? I, I've never heard of that. But you got to keep your eye out. It's a lot of crazy fools out here, man. <laughs> Yo, yeah, man. I you mean, gotta, you got to watch out, man. And if, if money, if I would have saw money, I would have caught him. No way. I, I would have caught his ass. Exactly. This is crazy. This is this is this guy. Congratulations. You're the sick fuck of the week. Um, but we got another one. Uh, Damn. Uh, a Texas man was dragging his daughter through a Texas Walmart by her hair, uh. dragging her through the restaurant like a, like a six year old girl and, and pulling it. By dragging her through the through the hair, she was caught. They were they were caught on video doing. He was doing this shit to, to a little girl. You sick fuck. We're gonna get you, okay? Yes. And you're gonna probably get locked up. Huh. And you know what they do to guys like this, G Monetti? Uh, uh, yeah. It's uh, the Wonder Bread bag and olive oil treatment. Uh, yeah. Real nice, real proper, real proper, real proper. Get you real proper, real. Real nice. Uh, so that's two sick fucks of the week in, 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 in one episode. You're welcome. Uh, oh, yes. You, yeah. You're best. What else is popping, uh, Monetti? Oh, man. Uh, uh, I want to backtrack. Uh, Ray Lewis uh, said some shit on, um, on, on a TV. He, 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 he went back to the, the old adage of the black on black crime as if to say... It's okay. Uh, the, the, it's okay. The cops are are killing us, but we gotta find out about the black on black crime. I want to tell everybody: don't listen to this fucking guy. All huh. right, we we must rem- we we must remember that this is a guy who's been banging his head for thirty years. Right. Right. CTE and a lot of a lot of, a lot of stuff is going on, and they're asking these guys to comment on social stuff. Social things, and they have no idea what he's talking about. How does black on black crime relate to unarmed black people getting executed by the cops who they pay taxes for them to protect? So, what is this dude talking about? Right. I, you know, I, it's like Howard Stern was saying this the other day about the athletes. Since when uh, have have the football players been? Uh, uh, viewed as as the fucking sharpest knives in the draw. Word. And and Ray Lewis, listen, it was a long time ago. You 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 got off, but everybody knows there was a little bit something a little a little sketchy around how he, he was accused of what was it, G Monetti? Uh, murder. And, and, and you know, I mean, but you know what though? I think it's I, I don't blame Ray Lewis because. Like I said earlier, everybody is up in arms and everybody should be up in arms and no one has the answer. There is no answer. Right. Right. But when you get up there talking about black on black crime, of course, black on black crime, white on white crime happens. If it's a black neighborhood, like I said, the the victim and the perpetrator will most likely be black. Now, black people don't really uh, live with whites. I don't know what, what this guy's talking about. Crazy, crazy, uh, crazy. What, 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 what else is uh, cr- cracking, Mr. Moody? Uh, the Deflate Gate scientists uh, confirmed what we already knew. Yes. So I, I read it in the uh, Times, and uh, we was way ahead of, the, ahead of the curve on this once again. And uh, Tom Brady, uh, you can't come into the arena. The next game. You can't even, you can't even, they, they don't even let this motherfucker in the arena rap. No, I know. But, 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 but you know what? It, it, it's over. Like he served his time. He did four game suspension. Uh, the Josh Brown, the, the field goal kicker for the, the, the New York Giants has been accused of all sorts of 
beating his wife and stalking his wife and threatening his wife. He did one game. And, and fucking Brady, as much as I can't stand him or his chin, he's doing four games. And, and, and I, I, I'm just ready for that shit to be done with me. It's a two-year fiasco, a two-and-a-half-year shenanigans and shit. Yeah. But Brady, we know what you did. You know what you did. Yeah. Now you live and learn. You did the crime. Word. You did the time. And then that's it. The Patriot yeah. way. They still, they still haven't given any fucking answer on why Rob Gronkowski, a.k.a. the Gronk, uh, uh, has been sitting out like they say he's injured, but they never they never um, they never said when he got injured or what's injured. It's like everything is such a secret with them. That's the Patriot right. way. They, they, right. they, you're only as sick as your secrets, Bill Belichick. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and they talk. They talk about. They always talk about Bill Belichick. They never mentioned the cheating. They never mentioned this guy was the highest fined coach in the history of the league you always leave that out yeah that's always forgotten <laughs> he and he he's always getting mad i'm begging somebody to send me to a patriot uh press conference and 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 i'll go in there with an agenda and i'm gonna be they're gonna kick me out i will get kicked out but i'm gonna make him answer the questions please answer the question sir i am just here trying to do my job okay, well, please sir i just want to do my job i'm just here trying to uh you know do what my my network has told me uh to do please please let me uh please let me uh do my job sir just answer the question and the question is why don't you ever answer any fucking questions of bill belichick <laughs> Yo, there's like some sort of trend in New York City. Uh, another a mugger in New York City beat up. We we talked about the guy who who stuck his hand down the the, the chest of uh, of uh, a woman on 116th Street. Dang. And and then another dude he beat up a 72 year old woman in Brooklyn and robbed her for for five thousand dollars what kind of yo you're a piece of shit man they gotta Damn. catch this guy and they gotta send him to the wonder bread bag room down at the tombs in, in the brooklyn tombs and in the, in, in the prisons <coughs> there i, I don't yeah, understand he, this man he beat her he not only did he rob her he beat her up a 72 year old can you imagine physically uh assaulting a 72 year old woman wow wow man uh, hey like, you should bring back medieval shit. Like, stoning motherfuckers, man. Yeah, Yo. we, don't need to, we don't need to waste anybody's time. And we don't need to... If, if, if he's the guy, that's it, man. We just throw rocks yeah. at this guy, man. That's it. Yeah. Everybody get a rock. <laughs> you, get one, you get one rock. How about that? You, 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 everybody gets one rock. You, and you get one, one throw. It's like, it's like um, the, the, the dunk take. At, at, at yep. Coney Island, like you, you get one throw. We're not going to let you just tee off on this cocksucker. If you yeah, miss, yeah. you miss. If you hit him, you hit him. And then you keep it moving, you know? But we're like, what's the point of trying to rehabilitate a guy that would not only mug a 72-year-old woman, but beat a 70... You know how, like, 72-year-old, like, older women, like, they're so frail and... Yeah, frail. And, and you yeah. want to do that? He got... You broke my... Here's my, here's my, my law shit. You broke the law... And now we're going to break the law. Everybody gets a rock. Ah, fuck, but man. I, 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 but there's another sick fuck. I'm sorry to do it out of order. Cue the sick fuck of the week music again. <laughs> uh, a, a woman. Now, I, I, my dog, Wheezy. I have a dog, Wheezy. It's the I Am Rapport Stereo Podcast uh, news dog. Uh, he's my best friend. He's the sweetest dog in the world. I send him sometimes to get baths and, and to get groomed, right? Yes. In Virginia, a, a woman who does the grooming of this little dog, uh, she was filmed secretly. She was, she was right. fucking with the dogs, man. Oh. Pushing the dog, kicking the dog, and while she's supposed to be grooming it, she, 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 she's knocking the dog around, pulling it by its ear and all this shit. This woman is the third... The third sick fuck of the week. Her name is Miranda Henning. Miranda Henning is a sick fuck. She she she's a, like and she doing little dogs. I'm surprised she didn't try to hump the dog. And, Damn. And, and, and I, I, how could you do that? And I've been getting a lot of flack about the cats dying in my fountain. Yo, I didn't do nothing to those fucking cats, man. 
Okay, I don't fuck with animals. I don't fuck with dead animals. Those cats died in my... People are saying, oh, what'd you do to the cats? I didn't do shit to the cats. It's all on surveillance <laughs> video, okay? Well, you you want to try to take a claim or take a, make a case against me, the gringo mandingo? Go for it. I'm clean, asshole. No, you, you did say you don't trust cats. You said that a lot in previous episodes. Huh. So that would lead the listener to believe maybe you had some type of sick grudge against these cats. Yeah, well, fortunately, I was in New York City while these bastards drowned in, in my thing. And as much as they suffered, I suffered by having to see it and clean it and deal with it. Okay, that emotionally scarred me. I'm sure their death uh, was quick and hopefully painless. I still have nightmares and I shudder over those cats dying in my, uh, my, 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 my two by two fountain. Shit, maybe somebody put him in there to let you know what time it was. Welcome to the neighborhood, motherfucker. Great. That's great. Thank you, Jim Monetti. <laughs> Yo, yes. check this out. You know, I'm glad. This is loaf talk. Oh. I'm glad my mother got me circumcised. Oh, right? yeah. What, what, where are you going with this? Because there's a guy in Russia who had a condition called phimosis, where the foreskin is over the loaf but you can't pull it back. So, shit. What this guy did, the doctors wouldn't even fuck with him. The doctor said, "We can't fuck with you, dude." So, oh, wait, what he those did? The, were, what, were, were, wait, were those the exact words? What, what were the exact words again? We can't fuck with you, dude. Okay. So the doctor says, "No, we can't. We can't treat this. We don't know what that is." So money takes out his switchblade and circumcises. Himself. Damn. All loaves we, matter. Were on a cutting board. Damn. In front of the doctor? Money, yeah, he's bowed it. He he disinfected the switchblade and pulled out his Ooh. chopping board. Man, oh man, and, oh man. And, and, and then what happened? No anesthesia, no nothing. This guy is bowed it. This it, is people talk about gangbangers. Do you think you could cut your fucking loaf on a on a cutting board? That's Damn. tough. That's a tough guy. Not these football players. This guy. Yo, that's crazy. My man, man Roman. Huh? Roman Roman from Moscow. Yeah, I want him to be my security guard. Word. That's a that's your bouncer. Right. Yeah, fuck with my man here. My man my man be cutting his own dick. He he's not he's not scared <laughs> of nothing. 50 Cent said he got shot eight times. Right. But you think you think he could circumcise himself? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. MMA fighters, you get out there, you fight, you kick ass. I never seen you cut your own loaf, okay? You ain't Word. got nothing on this dude. Yo, I hate, I hate these stories, but two came up in one week. Now, we've talked about our fascination with um, Vin Baker, ex-NBA player who, who made approximately $90 million, went broke. I feel bad for these dudes. I don't make yes. light of it. I mean, we, we yes. kind of do make light of it, but it's, it's, it's just because it's so far-fetched and so unimaginable, I'm sure, to these guys more than anybody else. Um, and Vin Baker is now a barista. Real talk, if you, if you don't know this, a former NBA Olympian, uh, and, yes. and, and, and you know he, he, he you know he played in the NBA. The guy was an Olympic gold medalist, I believe. Uh, yes. works in, in Starbucks. He, he 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 he. You know that's his job now. Two Jesus dudes, Christ. Darius Miles, and an and NBA star, Glenn Rice. Glenn Rice who used to play for the Knicks. He used to play for uh, the Heat, right? Right. Huge star yeah, in Charlotte, college. Yo, he Charlotte made about Hornets. six. Huh. Charlotte Hornets as well. $66 million. And they said that he is in a financial crisis. He can't uh, afford child support. Well, the child support will make anybody go broke if, if it's not done correctly. And, and, and he, he's he apparently like, like near the end and has no money left after $66 million. And, and I just don't understand. Like, like you, you know, the, the, these guys need to... I don't know how it works. I mean, I guess if they're a grown man and, and that's what they're getting paid, that's what they're getting paid. You, you, you're not going to, uh, that's it. You know, it's, it's I, what I'd be on a, uh, at, after that was reported, I'd be on a suicide watch because you got to think, yo, 
This cat messed up 90 million. This cat makes messed up 66 million. You fucked your family up for the next 200 years, man. Yeah, man. You fuck. So I'm like, what else? Yeah, it's it's what else? It's it, it's it's crazy, man. I, I don't understand. I don't understand it. I don't understand how that 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 could happen. It doesn't look good for the NBA for sixty percent of your 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 employees to be flat broke in five years after they retire. Listen, I mean, I love the NBA, but yo, you're gonna have to do some new policy something on, on regulating the teams. Need to regulate. Money. I know these are grown men, but are they really? Right. So, it, like, it, the like mentality. Once a week, there has to be, like, a, a, a sort of, like, you, you know, like, that's part of the thing. Like, you go get treatment on your ankle. You talk to the financial dude. Like, you, you got to hand in some paperwork. They, they should be doing it yeah. for, their, for their own good, for their, for, for, to save themselves. And you, these guys come from gut-wrenching poverty, the South. In Memphis, Memphis, Tennessee is basically like a third world country. So you coming from shit like that and then you're just giving money, a lot of money. Of course, of course, it's only a matter of time, you know, before it all dissipates. So the NBA, it's a bad look for you. Yeah, it's it's all these sports. It's crazy. It's it's basketball and football. You don't hear baseball. Yeah, you don't hear baseball too much. Yeah, it's but it, it's basketball and football. It's it's really bad. Uh, yeah. Mo- Monetti, Friday, October 14th. We're, we're doing it live in Las Vegas uh, uh, at Vinyl at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. We're performing live. The I Am Rapport Stereo Podcast World Tour continues October 14th and then Sunday, October 16th at Stand Up Live in Phoenix, Arizona. All right, yeah. we, everybody should come out. Go to www.iamrapporttour.com. Okay, that's www.iamrapporttour.com. You know, when I say www, I feel like I'm like on some kind of like loop. Like it fucks my, like <laughs> www, www. Um, are you pumped to be performing in Vegas? I mean, think about the people who have performed in Vegas before yeah. you. Think about it. We got like everybody's performed. Elvis, Sinatra. The Jacksons. Everybody's done. Like, how are you feeling about these live shows, Mr. Moody? I think it's time for us to put our stamp in Vegas. The gruesome twos from the disco too, doing it up. Yeah, October 14th, it's going down. Uh, you've never been to Vegas. Um, no. Nope. You, you are in for a treat. Um, it's 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 something. It, it'll live up to all the expectations and disappoint you uh, just as much. It is a fucking dump. <laughs> okay, it is a shit whole okay uh, but the live show uh, will be broadcast so n- normally everything that happens in Vegas stays in Vegas well not the live show that's going down October 14th okay uh, we're, we're, right. we're gonna be there um, I wanna go ahead I wanna give I wanna give a shout out to a, a Boston judge who said black men may have a legitimate reason to flee police citing Boston police data that found blacks were disproportionately stopped by the city's police. So that uh, in in conjunction with fleeing, there's a basis for the for them to be just running on site based on the data. So this is a judge who kind of kind of gets it. Well, I, that, 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 that that is true. Uh, well, since you're doing a, a, a shout out to a good judge. I'm going to do the no good judge of the week. Do it. This is sick. I don't, I'm not making light of this at all. A, a teenager was caught on video uh, sexually molesting a one-year-old, oh. a 19-year-old teenager, and this piece of shit was given no jail time. He's getting probation and no jail time. Again, it, they, see, they have see. his picture. He's in Iowa. Why don't they get this piece of shit? Sick, 19 years old, he's molesting a one-year-old and he didn't go to prison or a fucking mental institution for like at least 20 years? And how could a judge sleep at night knowing that? I don't care what the rules are, what the laws are. He's going to do that again to somebody else. Yo. That's a no good, good good-for-nothing judge. 
See, this is that's the problem. You see, this is why there's a lot of unrest in society because that just exacerbates the feeling out here. Like you, this guy rapes, films himself, and the one I told you in the last episode was correct. A fan had verified it. So you got another one, and the judge sees fit to let him go. Crazy. You see, you see what I'm saying? So you understand why people have no faith in this system. And yo, riots are coming all over. It ain't just it ain't just for some black shit, man. It's yeah. a lot of that sucking shit with judges and all that. Yeah, you're right. And, and, These are not and, Americans. Like, I, like I they agree. say, those are not patriotic motherfuckers. No. No, that's not those patriotic. Not. That, that's not patriotic, and there's nothing patriotic uh, uh, about about uh, throwing your hands up in the air uh, when, when you're seeing people gunned down in the streets for nothing. It's 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 disgusting. It, it, yeah. it has to stop one way or another. It has to stop one way or another. Somebody has to intervene. They're, 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 it can't keep going on. It's fucking insane. This is the United it, States it, of America, and this is this is going on in 2016 on video. Yeah. And then you don't go to jail. Eric Garner's choked out on video and killed right there in plain plain daylight right there in Staten Island and nothing happens to the policeman right. the policeman who was on um desk desk or um whatever de- de- desk leave he's making more money on desk leave than he was as a cop right he, he he's this making is- more money after killing Eric Garner than he did, you know, for being a, a you know a street policeman. Again, and, and I know this isn't all the policemen. You don't even have to. We, I, you know, I feel like we have to say that so, like, you don't, uh, uh, so you don't look like you 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 don't support. Of course, you support right. the police. Of course, we all need the police. Of course, we we, we will turn to the police whenever and any time. I called the police when the fucking cats were in my front yard. God forbid something right. was serious. It's not even about that. You shouldn't even have to explain that. What you should you should explain is uh, the, the the police people. People should be apologizing and dealing with these people on their own. This code of silence shit, it has to stop. Um, what else is up, Mr. Moody? Patriotic Native American high school student, uh, Liani Thomas, grades were lowered for sitting during the Pledge of, an, uh, of Allegiance. And this is an Indian, so I don't know how you think they should stand you know, if, if all if any people have a right to say, "Yo, we not fucking with this shit," right? It's, it's the it's the Indians, right? Because this this is their land; it was just stolen. So I don't know why they would do that to this this patriotic Native American student. I want to give her a shout out and say, "Uh, I understand." A high school girl? Yeah. Um, yo, I have a solution. You know, it's a lot of gang problem in Chicago. I have a solution. Oh, yeah. They need some type of Geneva Convention. You know, the rules of engagement, rules of war. You can't just be shooting motherfuckers in broad daylight on down at downtown. Why don't the city of Chicago just designate an area where they could go settle their disputes? That's it. Right. Like 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 do a bulletproof warehouse. You could you could say this is your territory. This is your turf. Like the wild wild west. You could do ten paces turn around and and then shoot. instead of do it like that. If you really want to like be be like you're a tough guy and you want to like stop shooting the, the random innocent people. Meet in the yes. downtown fucking uh, in in the warehouse. Do 10 yep. paces and do some quick draw McGraw shit. Do some Jesse James shit. Cut the nonsense. Soldier Field, lock him in Soldier Field, and that's it. Good po- good, good idea, G Monetti. Another great idea from you, uh, Mr. Moody. Yes. All right, this is it. This is the end of the I Am Rapport Serial Podcast. Uh, that's some funk right there. That's that's funk. Uh, those are called Moody Beats. Um, oh, uh, can I make a request? Yeah, but come on, man. I'm in the flow here, man. What the fuck? Yo, Miles, give me that Sancocho. We need some nice Sancocho. Does he know what that is? Yes. All right. We're going we're gonna to do the outro again. Don't interrupt. You got everything out? I'm not. Go ahead. Okay. The Iron Rap Poor Stereo Podcast. We're done. Um, what can I say? We're going to be in Vegas October 14th. We're still trying to find a couple that wants to get married. I will ordain myself. I will become, become an ordained minister, G. Monetti. 
will uh, be your best man if your real best man can't be there. But what other best man could you have? I mean, you're yeah. not going to be able to top uh, a best man. G Monetti will be a great best man. Um, we'll be there the 14th, and then in Phoenix, the 16th. Go to www.iamrapporttour.com. That's www.iamrapporttour.com. See, I'm Rapport Stereo Podcast. We're the Malachi Brothers. We just gave you the Malachi Crunch, and we're out. Peace.